Justice Echo, who identified the discrepancies in the names on the primary school leaving certificate, General Certificate of Education, GCE, First Degree, NYSC Discharge Certificate, and the Master's Degree, which bore different names, explains that Mr. Degi Eremeyon did not approach lawful authorities to correct the multiple names on the certificates. The Supreme Court, therefore, came to the conclusion that the primary school certificate obtained in 1976, GCE in 1984, first degree in 1990 and others were products of forgery and that the deputy governor-elect violated section 182 of the 1999 constitution. The court therefore voided the joint ticket of David Leon and his running mate and set aside their participation in the November Bielsa governorship election. Justice Echo ordered that the certificate of return already issued to the governor-elect by INEC be withdrawn immediately and that a fresh one be issued to the candidate who scored the second highest number of lawful votes with geographical spread and with requisite qualification. Although lawyer to Senator Degye Remenyo is unavailable for comments, lawyers to the PDP and Senator Diri Doye react to the judgment. The implication is that uh, the, the governor will not be sworn in tomorrow and uh, uh, justice has been done. Mm. We thank Almighty God that we have justices that the world is proud of. The Supreme Court, in its wisdom, has disqualified the candidates of APC, the governorship and deputy governorship candidates, directed that the certificate of return issued to them should be withdrawn. And a new certificate of return issued to the candidates that have the majority of lawful votes cast and have the geographical spread in the governorship election. And I believe my clients merited that. With the judgment of the Apex Court, the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Diri Doye, who scored the highest lawful votes and with wide geographical spread, is set to take over as the next governor of Bielsa State.